Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my stamping for the Stamping Saturday collab. And the theme this week is Halloween. So on my nails to start, I have one coat of OPI Natural Nail Base Coat. And then over that, one coat Bases Loaded Lacquer Low and Away Foundational Base Color. And then this gorgeous, shifty polish that I have on my nails is Atomic Polish. And this is Creepy Paper. And this is from Polish Pickup September 2022. And y'all look, look at that gorgeous color. Look at all that shimmer, and there's some flakies in there. So this polish is so gorgeous that I had to go and pull up the listing so I can describe it to you. So it is described as a blurple base with iridescent flakes that shift from green to blue and Aurora pigment that shifts aqua to blue to purple. So pretty. Mm. Okay. So, and then over that, I have a coat of Salon Perfect Plumping Gel Effect Top Coat. Now, for the stamping. I'm going to use my Manitude Too Cute to Spook plate. And Manitude just jam packs their plates full of images. So I decided I was going to do ghosts. So it's like there's a ghost. There's a ghost. There's a ghost. Uh, there's a ghost. There's a ghost. So I'm going to do a different ghost on each nail. So let me zoom you in. I'm going to take the film off as soon as I find my tweezers. I think that's a double film. Okay. Uh, all right. So I'm going to take a cutting ball and 100% acetone and just get the residue from that film off of the plate. Oh gosh, I forgot how deeply etched their plates are too because look, it's just tearing up my cotton ball. There's going to be all kind of fuzzies in there. So I'm going to grab my lint-free wipe. Try to wipe all those fuzzies off. So the thing with Manitude plates and since they have them so jam-packed, like every time you look, you have a tendency to find something that you did not see before. Oh Lord, it's even tearing up my lint free wipe. All right, I'm gonna put my mat down. So, first, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna Damp all my little ghostesses. So I got a couple of stampers. So I'm going to do my outline in black. So there's one. Okay, 
And then we're going to take off the excess. Okay. And there's one little ghosty. I'm going to put you to the side. And then grab another stamper to do the next little ghosty, which is this one here. ghosties nope I missed some of the bow that one I have to do again okay Free wipe. Like, I literally just had it. Here it is. Okay, let's try that again. Scrub, 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 scrub. Go, little ghosty. All right, and then there's a tiny little bit on here I didn't get. I want to get it off because I want to make sure I do not get that on my nail when I stamp it back down. Okay. Um, next, that's two. This is going to be. Three. I'm going to flip this around so I can get it. And hopefully I get it because I always have issues with images on the edge. So let's see. Let's see if I can get it. Nope. Let's try you again. Scrub, scrub. Ha ha ha. Gotcha. Yeah. Let's see if I can remove this without messing up. Nope. See, I knew that was going to happen. Because that one is so close. All right, let's try it again. This time, oh. it's not perfect, 
but I think that's as well as I will be able to get it. So there we go. All right, that's three. Let's flip you back around. I did this one for four. Stamper fell out when I took the lid off, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to pick it up now. Cause I waited too long. Yep. Cause it's got fine lines, it dries quickly. All right. Clean it off. Grab the lip free. Oh, that's not it. That's the ghost hand. <laughs> All right. I thought it was a piece of lint I was trying to get off. All right. Scrub, 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 scrub. There we go. All right, now, I'm not gonna do the thumb. Normally I would like to do this one, um, but since I'm new on my job this week, I don't know if they would consider that offensive or not. I ain't trying to start nothing, so I'm just gonna use the four that I have. I will have to clean that better before I put it up. But let me move this mat to the side because I am still going to be using it. But I'm going to put down this lint free wipe to try to get a background for you so you can see what I'm doing. Zoom in a little bit more. So first, I want my ghosts to glow in the dark. So I have the Salon Perfect Glow in the Dark Polish. This is Glow All Out. I wish I had one that glowed blue, but I don't. This is what I have, so this is what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna use this to color in my ghosts first. And hopefully this will stay in focus while I do it, fingers crossed. I'm going to grab this brush, which I, you know, I don't have a name on it or anything, so sorry, I don't know where I got it from. But I'm going to use this one. So I put down some of this glow polish on my mat. Okay, 
start doing it. So after I do this and it dries, then I'm going to go back and color the ghost in with white. I need a little bit more at the bottom. Good little ghost day. Mm, maybe a little bit more at the top. I think that's good. Okay. I'm going to do all the other ones. And then I will be back. All right, I'm back. Now that the glow in the dark polish has dried, I'm going to go in with my BAM white and do the ghost. All right, so for those of y'all who have been keeping up with what's been going on with me personally, um, the day that I'm filming this is day two at my new job, which it is hard, you know, to tell if I'm gonna like the job itself. Cause so far I've just been doing, um, you know, your basic HR training, you know, here, fill out your, your paperwork for how much we're gonna take out and your check for taxes and there's your benefit options and, you know, choose which health plan you want and things like that and then information about the company you know how their payroll works and all that general stuff when you start a new job so I haven't got into actual training yet for the job that I will be doing um, I have sat with someone who's also in the same department as me who has the same job as me I did sit with her for a half a day today because they didn't have, have me, oh, that's really thick. Ugh. They did not have me in the system yet to do computer training. So um, I did sit with her for half a day today and it does look like something that I should be able to do, no problem. Focus, please. Thank you. I mean, and everybody so far at the company is very, very nice. So, I have high hopes and I'm looking forward to getting into working there and 
Um, there are two workers there that I actually worked with at my previous job. They're the ones who let me know about this opening, or well, one of them specifically. Um, so they were like, you should apply for this job. I think you would do good at it. Um, so there's already two people there that I know. So yeah, better schedule. Once I get fully trained, they said I will have the option to work from home some days. So I'm really looking forward to it. All right, y'all, I'm gonna finish these coloring in all these ghosts white and I uh, will be back. All right, I'm back. I've got all my little ghosts colored in white. And I believe that they're dry enough for me to stamp. So I'm gonna grab my mini allergy sticky base coat. Put a very thin layer. I'm gonna do my ring finger first. I don't know why, but I forgot to color in the bow on the locals to see. Mm, yep. So that's a little much. There we go, that's a little better. So, I went looking. I do have some jelly polishes. I do have this little OPI, ooh, OPI that I got in a set. Um, let's see, here's a little box that came in. So, it's a color paint. So, this color is magenta muse a red violet so I'm going to try to use this to paint in the bow after I put my little ghosty on and we're gonna see if that works okay so try and center on my nail That's kind of long. I don't know if that's going to fit on my pinky though. Uh, okay. I come up at this one here. That one there, and then that one there, I think, I think, I think, I think, so, so let's do, all right, let's do index finger, so thin layer on the index finger. And then while that's drying a little bit, I'm going to put some of this. Hmm. Put some of this on my mat. See if I can color in that bow. Hopefully, hopefully that'll come out. Sorry, I know I just hit my camera. Uh, 
a little dark. Brush keeps hitting it. Mm. Okay. Uh, good enough. Okay. Let's see. That one goes there. Boop. I'll do a thin layer. There. I'm going to go ahead and do a thin layer on my pinky, too. See, I need that one on the middle now. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to grab my smudge free top coat while the sticky base is drying a little bit. Let's go ahead and coat this one. That was a little much. And this one. This one, All right there. And then this one, hmm. he takes up almost the whole nail. Sorry, not he. This ghost takes up almost the whole nail. I'm trying to get away from using pronouns, but old habits die hard. All right. So, thin layer. Smudge free. Thin layer of smudge free. Okay. Now, let's see. If y'all can see the glow in the dark on camera. Ooh, ooh, little glowing ghost. All right, let's see if I get it pitch black in here if y'all can see. Hold on. I doubt it'll show on camera. So we're going to try it and see. No, look at that glow, y'all. Ooh, I'm so excited it shows. All right, cute. I think they turned out cute. What you think? I'll turn my overhead light back on. All right, when my smudge-free top coat dries, I'm gonna go in with a coat of my Salon Perfect. Um, and then I will take photos and have those at the end of my video. Um, and as per usual, I will have everyone else's photos at the end of this video as well, after my photos. And then everyone who participated, I will also have the link to their videos in the description bar below. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and comment below.
Am I forgetting anything? I do have a mini allergy code, LJ Nails 10. If you plan on making a purchase, I would appreciate it if you would use my discount code. I'll earn a little small commission so I can buy some more mini allergy stuffs. Do some more videos. Um, and I think that's everything. All right, I want to thank y'all so much for joining me, and I will see you all next time. Bye.